The diagnosis of intermittent canvas faults can be really difficult to find. Uh, now, you can use an oscilloscope and, you know, Picoscope has some really great tools in their software to help you find those intermittent faults. So let's take a look. We've got a canvas signal up on the oscilloscope at the minute. We can see that that is a pretty good signal. Um, it is a little bit noisy. That is because We've been putting some wiring faults and switches in on the wiring loom on this car for the Mechanic Mindset members. We've basically been investigating all the different types of canvas faults possible and looking at how we would diagnose them and what you would expect to see on the oscilloscope waveform. So I've got a fault on this switch here. If you monitor that CAN signal there, I will replicate an intermittent fault and you'll see that it's quite difficult to see, okay? Now, what we could do is increase the time on the oscilloscope and look at it on a time base that's more suitable for humans, like, you know, 200 milliseconds per division. So we've got about two seconds on the screen there. And if we just repeat that uh, intermittent fault, you can see it, sometimes it's a bit easier to see, but other times it's a little bit more difficult. So if we stop it there, I'll uh, save this waveform. If you wanna go and get it at mechanicmindset.com, just sign up to the free trial, and you can download all of the waveforms from the uh, YouTube channel. So here we are, look, we've going back here. See, this one here was quite difficult to see. However, this one was a bit easier to see. And if we just zoom into this, you can see that that's where that fault occurred. Okay, so this is an, an open circuit fault, essentially. It's an open circuit fault on a certain part of the circuit. And the reason it looks like this is because, because we're measuring it on a certain part of the network. However, we, we could kind of see that, that, that there. Now, now, because the intermittent faults can be very, very quick, there's another feature that you can use on here. And what we're gonna do is set up a math channel. So the math channel we're gonna use is very simple. It's channel A plus channel B. And what that will do will give us a flat line where the two channels have been added together, okay? So because of the voltages that are on can high and low when it's at rest and when it's uh, communicating, when we add them together, it should come up to five volts. So if we see here, they both start at around two and a half. So two and a half add two and a half is five. And then it goes up to around 3.6 and down to around 1.4. And 3.6 add 1.4 is five. So what we should get then is that flat line on the math channel at five volts. Okay, so if I just put in there, hit five, you can see the ruler there is in line with five on the math channel. So now if we monitor that pink line for the math channel and I put the fault on, we can see there that quite clearly it's dropped out and we've got an imbalance on that network, okay? So if we look here and zoom in, we can see those dropouts, okay? Now, what about if you're on a road test, driving up the road, you don't really want to be looking at this um, kind of waveform or you, you, know, you might have an accident or something like that. There is another feature again called masks and actions. So what we can do is set up a mask on uh, that math channel. So if we just get one complete sweep there, go to uh, masks, Feature is still in development, so feedback anything that you have on there. And here, look, we can choose which channel we want to set the mask to. What we're gonna do is go A plus B, because that's the math channel mask, and it's now displayed that pink line, okay? And what we're gonna do is click generate mask from source. And now you can see, look, that we've got a pink mask either side of that um, waveform. So you can also then go in there and change how wide or narrow you want the mask, basically setting the tolerances. So what we'll do is we'll set this mask 
a bit closer there. Probably about 2% should do it. Okay, so now we can see that we've got this mask around here, and when we fail the mask, it's actually recorded on there. Okay, can you see that? We've got the mask fail recorded in green, and we've also got a recording down here of how many times the mask has failed. Now, if you want some audible warning of when that mask fails, just go to Actions. That can be found in this, in this More menu here. Um, the event that we want to capture is a mask fail, and the action we want to add is play a sound. So we then need to select our sound. I'm going to go for the bow and then play that. Okay, and then we get the bow warning every time the mask fails. So that when you're on your road test, you can uh, be made aware of you know, the mask failure. Or you might be monitoring the canvas at the front of the vehicle and manipulating the wiring inside the vehicle. You, know, you, you don't have to keep an eye on the screen. You can just listen out for that mask fail. So make sure you go and give it a go yourself.